Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm playing 3x3 again. Now, the main reason for that is I just felt like my explanation was quite poor. My solve was correct, but I just never really articulated it quite well. So this is a second attempt. And I'm recording it again. Now, obviously, I kind of know the answer. But I think I'm going to do a little bit better here. Anyway, you know this particular puzzle. I'm just going to crack on with the solve. And remember, this is not normal Sudoku rules. You can't actually have the same numbers multiple times in the same box. So this is the most unusual bit of it. Anyhow, I'm going to restart the clock and uh, just try again, knowing what's in store to some degree. Right. So last time we started with this cell. These cells are blue. In fact, I'm actually going to deliberately going to use different colors. Blue, purple. Uh, now this, if you remember, same logic that these two cells are pointing towards actually a five, but essentially blue and purple, this is a third digit. Um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to call it X. Now this cell here is not purple because it can't be part of the sum and it's not blue. Therefore, this is X. This is X. This cell now, uh, I have, well, actually, no, I don't really have the option. So just completing this box, that's blue. This is now blue because I need one in this column, purple, purple. And now I know that all the X's are fives. Right. Logic, if you remember last time was, if this is one four, to get something that is on a black crop kit out here, it would have to be three, six, one, two, two, four, and four, eight are all not available. Second option is that these two cells are 2, 3. Well, if they are 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6 are not available, this would have to be 4, 8. Sorry, one moment. I do have someone at the door uh, who is after me. Give me a second. All right, sorry about that. Back again. So this is essentially 3, 4, 6, 8. Now, you can use the exact same logic to say, essentially, because these two cells can't be blue or or purple. Same logic here that these two cells are not blue or purple. So these two cells are essentially identical. And for the sake of argument, I'm going to call it purple orange. Right. Um, because purple is in here, whether it's two, three or one, four, I can't use, sorry, because green is in here, whether it's three, four, three or four, um, I can't reuse it in here because essentially green will be all over this box and therefore eliminated from both of these columns. So these cells down here are blue, purple. Right. Uh, these two cells. This is sort of the key to it all. This can't be blue or purple. And remember, blue and purple are now down here. Columns two are sorry, four, five, and six are essentially eliminating blue and purple from both of these. This cell, green and orange, is eliminating it from both of these cells. So this is definitely yellow. And for the sake of argument, I'm just going to pair it up with red. Now, whether this cell is yellow or this cell is yellow, this can't be. Easiest demonstrated. So if this is yellow and this is red, well, yellow will be somewhat in this box, let's say in this pattern seeing this cell, and therefore it can't be yellow. The reverse is also true. If this is yellow, you can see this cell in Sudoku. So this can't be, and we know it's a low digit because it's connected to a low digit with a white crop key dot, and it's not a five, so it's not escaping the low digits. So this has to be green. That's not green. This is not orange. Green's now, where is it in this third column? This has to be green. This is going to be yellow, red. This has to be orange. This has to be orange. This is yellow, red. Right, three, four, six, eight. Uh, we actually know the direction to a degree now. This is the three, four. This is the six, eight. Right, we can do better. This cell is connected to this cell. Now, the key thing is to remember that they are different pairs of fives. 
Green and yellow add up to their own 5, purple and blue add up to their own 5. So this cell here, if this is 3, this would have to be a 4. If it's a 2, well, they're meant to be forming a 5, and then I'm in trouble because that's 2, that would be 2, and this suddenly would have to be 3, breaking Sudoku. Well, Sudoku. So this is purple in this case is now 3, 4. Blue in this case is now 1, 2. Lovely. Right, here is the next thing. This X really helps. So this can't be a blue purple X. So remember, whenever you're trying to get to 10, you have to have a low digit and a high digit. Blue and purple are not present. Green is also not present because it will be eliminated from all of these columns. So this is yellow and red. It's exactly these two cells. This cell, this X now, is not yellow and it's not blue and it's not purple. It can only be green with some digit that adds up to 10. Um, I know it's a different one from this red, so therefore I am going to pick yet another color. It's going to be gray. That has to be gray because essentially I've placed green, orange. What is the third color I've not placed yet? That's gray. That's not gray. That's not green. This is orange. That's not orange. This is gray. Uh, that's not green. That is green. And that is orange. And in this case, this is the 6, 8. This is the 3, 4. And we can repeat the same logic one more time. Now, this needs to add up to 10, so this is either 6 or 7. And yeah, this is the white crop dot that just actually allows us to place digits beyond the 5. So, whatever this digit is, it adds up to a 5 with the green. So essentially, there's a 1, 2 in here with an 8, 9. Now, I have a third digit that has to be consecutive with one of these two. And it can't be the one, two, because I've already placed three of the low digits. So the one, two doesn't stand a chance of actually being consecutive with anything else. Right, let's think a little bit harder about this as well. And we almost need to sort of try and do one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four. So essentially, I have one of the three fours is green, one of the, and then the pair of it, the kind of um, its counterpart is yellow. And the item that adds it up to 10 is red, and then the item that adds it up to 10 for a three four is gray. This is going to be purple, and this is going to be blue. Right. So this is eight, nine. This is six, seven. Now, how can I make these two cells consecutive? And I think that's kind of the key challenge that you're trying to answer here. Um, from my options down there. The important part is that gray is gone. So we're looking for a fourth color that is not gray. And it's not gray. Um, it's not orange, which is one of, one of these two cells. So it's a third option, essentially that's going to pair up with these, that needs to be consecutive with the 8, 9. And this is sort of the key to it, is if you pick an 8, 9, essentially my options are 6, 7, or 8, 9. Well, it's 6, 7, or 8, 9, it's any of these digits. These two cells must add up to 15. These two, sorry, these two cells, yeah, do add up to 15 because essentially these four cells together add up to 20. You've got 10, you've got 20. These two add up to five. These two must add up to 15. Now, the only way that this could be consecutive from the same group is if this is essentially uh, 2, 8, and 3, 7. Sorry, and a 8, 7. Now, if that happens, well, that would be three, that would be seven. You're essentially adding something that's part of the same group, and that's not going to work. So 
this has to be not crossing from 8 down to 7, as in adding up to 15, staying in the same group. It has to change groups. It's got to be essentially a digit from this side that would pair up with the 1, 2, or the 3, 4. And if it's 9, it would be 8. If it's 8, it would have to be 9, because if you go to 7, you're staying in the same group, and then you've broken the puzzle. Now, I'm hoping that's a little bit clearer, but that gives me 8, 9. That means that, what does that actually mean? 8, 9. Yeah, that does mean that essentially in this box, I've got 8, 9 and a 1, 2. We don't know what it is just yet. But because I've got a pair of 8, 9s, that can't be an 8 anymore. So that would have to be, orange has to be 6. Green has to be 3. Its counterpart would have to be a 7. Remember these... You know, whatever yellow is adds up to a five with the three. So yellow has to be a, a two. This is a two, therefore this is an eight, this is a nine, this is an eight, and like we're off and racing really at this point. Eight, two, lovely. Two in here, one, 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 four, fours, lovely. These are two eights. Yes, last 10 to basically just bring it all home. The rest of it really is just helping us finish the puzzle. But let's think about what this 10 is. And it can't be 3, 7. It can't be 2, 8. It has to be either 1, 9 or 4, 6. And it can't be 4, 6. So this is 1, 9. 9, 1. Therefore, that's not 1. That's 4. That's 1. That is whatever these two digits are, 5 and 7. Uh, that 7 gives us a 5, gives us a 7. So this now is just all going to fall into place. 7, 4, 1, 7. Uh, these two cells, they help us to determine the 2 and 8. If that's 2, well, from 2, 5, and 9, which two cells are consecutive? The answer is none. That has to be 8. That has to be 2. These two cells are 8, 9. The 9 has to go in here. 5, 5, 8, 9. Uh, on the home stretch now. So now that we got to this point, all of the digits in these cells are kind of known. And the arrows are immensely helpful, as are to a degree the black crop kiddos. So this is, let's just think about it. What do we have in here? Three, five, and six. Well, these are the five and six. That's the three. I need two digits that add up to whatever this cell is. And the only way I can make this work is a double three with a six, and that would just unwind the whole thing for me. Six, five, six, five. Done. These cells are now one, two, and four. The only one that would be allowed to actually join these would be the two. That's not a two. Um, we essentially have, again, the same kind of thing going on with the arrows. And my options are, yeah, double one to get to two, or double two to get a four. I don't think there's any other option here. One and two would not work because that would be a three which is not available. Yeah, so those are my options. If I put a double two in here, I've broken the black crop dot. That's ones, that's two. These are not ones, that's a two, four pair. That's a one, that's a four, that's a two, that's a four, that's a two, that's a four. Lovely. Last box now, we are at um, seven, eight, and nine. 2 plus 7 makes 9. Need to have an 8 consecutive with either 7 or 9 in here. That's, actually, let's just put the 8, which gives me an 8 in here, which means, all right, this is a 9, obviously just Sudoku. 7, 9, 7, and 8 for the finish. Which one did I make a mistake on? Um, no, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Huh? Double one with two. Gave me two, four, gave me a one. Right, hang on. That's five. That's five. They're consecutive. They're 
yeah, they add up to 10, they add up to 10. They are consecutive, they're 2, 8, they're 3, 6, they're 3, 7, they're 3, 6. Uh, I made a mistake down here, whoops. Um, let's try that again. So that was the 2, therefore that's the 8, that's the 2. That's what I meant to do. That's 9, that's got to be 8, that's 9, that's 8, that's 2, that's 9. Lovely. Uh, it's a phenomenal puzzle, Matt. I think just the very end really threw me off here. And um kind of delighted that I've actually tried to solve it again and re-record it because it, it can have an extremely smooth solve. Um, I just frankly really struggled with it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle and the reshooting of this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave it until tomorrow morning with another puzzle um, so that I don't necessarily try and post this at the same time. See you back soon. Bye-bye for now.